hopefully this is <coughs> recording properly. But, uh, hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I filmed a quick little update vlog. Because, um, life kind of went kerplooey for a little while and then it slowed itself back down. And now that I'm back on a normal schedule again, it's been a little bit easier to figure some stuff out. So, oh, there's a hair on the lens. Oops. Anyway, uh, so, for those of you who don't know, I went and got a full-time job back in June. Uh, I started on, I started training on, excuse me, uh, started training on June the 11th, and, um, oh, whatever, fine. Um, I started training on June the 11th, and I've been working there for about a month now. A month and a few days. Uh, it's August 1st, so it'll be three, two months on the 11th. Um, and it's been going alright. I work for a call center. Um, and I work, I do retention for a satellite TV group. And that's about all I can say without getting in trouble because I signed a disclosure agreement. I, I signed a non-disclosure agreement. What I can also say, though, is that um, it's been interesting. I've been trying really hard to not let it get to me. I'm not going to clean this lens off. I've been trying really hard not to let it get to me. And it's not always easy, especially when they're elderly because you know, my grandmother and my aunt, they helped raise me with my mom, and so sometimes I kind of, the old heartstrings get tugged a little bit, and I probably end up doing more than I should. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's been good. It, the money's nice, I have to admit. Um, and they're, they always hire from within. They don't really outsource unless it's like a specific position. But like when it comes to the call floor, they, they don't outsource. They always hire from within. Oh, excuse me. We were up late last night. Um, they always hire from within, and that's really nice. And, um, yeah. So that's been going on. Uh, what else? We moved. I'll probably do a house tour vlog later. Um, things are still a little messy, but Beth and I are going to be unpacking some boxes today after she wakes up. And uh, from there. Um, we live in a, ho a trailer now as opposed to an apartment. This is the first time for me. I've never lived in a trailer in my entire life, so... It's the first time living in a trailer for me. I've never lived in one before. And so, um, I'm still adjusting to, like, the kind of hollow floors, the ceiling having tin on it, um, the roof reacting to the wind, you know, stuff like that. But it's not bad. I, I like it. It's, it's certainly, like, I think there's, like, a stigma against trailers, and I think that it should only be there if you don't take care of your trailer. Because I've seen some really nice ones that are really well taken care of. So, yeah. Um, Cosplay-wise, Sabo 10 is coming up, and I got the time off for that. And yesterday, uh, we did some initial prop work on everything. And um, maybe today, depending on what Beth and I get done here at home... Um, we're going to go do some more prop work over at Cameron's. Um, him and Beth are, have got the big prop builds. I literally just have two. I'm remaking my data pad for Chekhov. And I am, uh, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the book, the journal for Dipper. I've been debating if I just want to buy the one that's online that's already written. Or if I just feel like trying to make my own book, or if I'm gonna cover a hardback sketchbook, excuse me, with, um, leather and then paint. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. 
because I don't have a whole lot of patience for A, Amazon to get here, B, doing a bookbinding project with not a whole lot of time. I mean, I get two days off a week and I usually get out at like 4.30 or 5.30, but you know, you don't always have a lot of time because you got to catch up on everything else. Um, so there's that. But I have to honestly say that like, I like being busy. I've definitely, I've been dealing, I haven't had as much um, depression issues. I, my anxiety is, as opposed to it being like super intense, it's, it's, it ha now has an opportunity to sort of spread itself out. And by spreading the anxiety out, I, I tend to manage it a little better. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's been pretty okay. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, SEA wise, I haven't been able to go to like weekly practices because, you know, but it is pretty easy to ask for time off like I was saying. So I should still be able to go to Australia, which is going to be that big event. That's that's my one big event. You know, I think that's always going to be one my one big event until I make it to Penzik, which someday. Um I've been on testosterone now for almost a thousand days. When I get to a thousand days, I'm probably going to stop keeping track. Um cuz that's pretty cool. Um maybe I'll do something special for that. But I've been, I shaved recently, and you can see it's coming back, but I'm, I'm really digging this mutton chop with the mustache look. I apparently look very much like my father with that, and I like it, not just because of, I look like my father, but because it, it's, it's the Edwardian in me, I guess. Um, but then, you know, I have a mohawk, so what are you going to do about that? Oh, shoot. Anyway, um, I got, um, I'm all registered for the cl for my first semester back. I'm a little terrified, but you know what? I know I'm going to be fine because I've got a great support system. I have great friends, and I have my wife, and I have, I know that I actually, like, go to a tutor this time <laughs> instead of just put it off and, you know. But, uh, all online courses I'm taking, um, for my, ar so for my humanities credit, I'm taking archaeology, um, and intro to pop culture. For my language credit, I'm doing French, and I'm also doing intro to communications, because that's what I'm, I'm majoring in, I'm majoring in communications. Uh, went and got my student ID yesterday which that was an interesting experience uh, it's a little weird to be carrying a student ID on me you know again I think I still have my NMSU ID around here somewhere from my last seven years <laughs> um, except this one has my my new name on it which is interesting it's pretty cool um, there's not a whole lot to talk about, really. I mean, I've been meaning to sit down and <clears throat> film a vlog for a while, but I haven't really had the chance to, and now that I do, I'm kind of like, well, maybe there's not a whole lot to talk about right now. But anyway. Um, I'm planning, we, we've been, I've been filming content for uh, getting ready for Sabo 10, so you'll be seeing some of that on both my channel and on the channel that Beth and I share, and um, I'm going to see if I can get some other content filmed for you guys, um, you know, and I'm going to get back onto my Let's Plays and things like that, so, um, you know, it's going to be a bit of a, of, a, of a work, but I'm excited about it, um, and I can actually start putting money into nicer equipment so like maybe a new camera or some lights or something like that so we'll see but anyways I'm gonna get going because I have I have a bunch of chores to catch up on including putting laundry away that's been done for almost a week 
and finishing up the dishes and everything. And then I gotta feed me and my, myself and Beth, so. I'll catch y'all in the next random update vlog. And I'll talk to y'all later.